Hello guys, you're welcome to See and Talk. In here we talk about stories and politics, entertainment, celebrity gossips and general gossips. If this is your first time to my channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, be a part of this family and also click on the notification bell so that you're informed that every single time I upload a video. So the headline for today reads, <laughs> Obasanjo writes an open letter to President Buhari. Hmm. Okay, so let me read, guys. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo has written yet another letter to President Muhammad Buhari, warning that Nigeria is heading towards a complete collapse, and only the president could stop such a looming disaster. In the July 15, 2019 letter, Mr. Obasanjo said, The world, especially Western countries, has been warning Nigeria against descending into a state of violence because any outbreak would be difficult to contain. He warned that for Mr. Buhari to be able to stop the smoldering ethnic agitations, he would have to stop fanning the embers of hatred, disaffection, and violence. Mr. Obasanjo also called an armed herdsman to publicly state their grievances in order to form a national discussion around it, rather than waging a violent campaign across the country. The calls were also extended to another ethnic group that have concerns about how the country is being run. The last week's killing of Funke Olakunri, a 58-year-old daughter of Yoruba leader, Ruben Fasoranti, was amongst the most recent national security mishaps, sorry, mishaps, which Mr. Obasanjo said could tip the country off a perilous edge. He also called on the Nigerian armed forces to stop public shaming of personnel, saying such could only serve, serve adverse interests for the nation. That's the story, guys. That's the letter to, from Obasanjo to Buhari, guys. I think he has made sense. Okay, I think Buhari really needs to listen to him now because the agitations are really becoming too much. From Fulani herdsmen, now the Igbos are threatening to secede. Now, with this killing of this woman, the Funke Olakorin, that's the daughter of Paruben Fasoranti, you know, it is also um, expected that Yorubas may also react, you know, despite what the their fathers and the Jagaband of uh, Yoruba land, as in Bolatinubu, despite all he has said, you know, in the, my previous video, it is expected that the Yorubas may react. Okay, I think what Buhari, uh, Basan just said to Buhari is very appropriate. He should try and call a round table discussion. Let the Fulani herdsmen really come out and table, table what they want. Okay, and let everyone, you know, in a united manner see if a stop can be put to all of this, if, there, if an agreement could be reached, and if a stop can be put to all of this violence. Because it would really be a very sorry, sorry state if Nigeria goes into, you know, unnecessary war. Because I feel this is really very unnecessary. It's something that can be settled amicably. But anyway, guys, these are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And if you're here to subscribe to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Be a part of the family, please. Like and share this video. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.